All right, what's going on, everyone? Supreme Kami over here. So Tuesday night breakdown uh, over here. So we're gonna start things off with some login bonuses per usual over here. The welfare event login bonuses over here. Up next, we got more capitals. Uh, right now, I'm probably sitting, uh, you know, another 99 million in my inbox that I cannot even collect. And then, like right now, like I think I still have another 99 million just waiting there to be used. So, oh man, I'm pretty sure I can just burn everything through this week you know that should be pretty much no problem but that's good it's always good to have capital login bonuses right there like, you know per usual all right so we are at the notice page already so i've talked about this already so i'm not really going to mention it here again and then we got the warfare events the battle mad heavy armament over here or the armory excuse me yeah this is uh the Zaku f2000 over here i think there's going to be tons of esq uh that i'll probably enjoy from this set over here so that should be exciting to be used you know when i do the bingo set with you guys uh this week around the bingo set should be a pretty expensive one if i have to, if I have to say there's some coin multiplier uh yeah this is a problem as well there's just not a lot <laughs> to kind of go around so that's gonna be a big problem right there for sure so uh let me just kind of skip through all these stuff over here uh, in terms of some alteration, they have uh, finally added another two um, uh, stand alterations over here. So we get the beginning 30 again over here. So right on time for this week's uh, warfare event. So it's going to be a pretty good multiplier right there as well. You also have the Zion right there as well. So I'll do alteration review for them probably on a much later day. Um, if you guys do need alteration review on this week's uh, Super Soul Cast, I really have them done already. Uh, because they're released on it on an earlier schedule so i'll leave them down in the description below and there you guys can check them out um these two are probably I, I i would say i can probably have them done maybe on the weekends probably yeah i think that's a pretty good time to be doing them um these are something you don't want to be summoning on on their on their banner because these are standard parts so uh there's really no need to kind of you know use your hardships on them so that is that uh i don't wonder how good they are after alteration right and then besides that, they did drop another one of these banner step up banner over here. So this is going to be the all five star. Uh, keep in mind that when they do these, like the icon, like the actual simple star, uh, these tend uh, tend to actually mean the uh, the Soul Cast and Gundam Battle Festival. When they use the word like the spell star, um, those tend to be you know standard parts, uh, standard uh, stars or standard star standard pool parts over here so i think that is something uh to kind of keep in more keep in mind there as well so there, there's going to be a total of seven steps you can do which um which you advance to by opening capsule this time is limited to three to three rounds only and you're guaranteed a five star parts on three step six and all five stars parts on a step seven i think one of the comments i read probably early on a few weeks ago they're talking about oh uh, I think one of, it's one of those step the banner too. They were talking about oh they they completely dropped those steps with giving you um, ten soul card press over there. I think they're uh, they're finally doing that again. So I would say this you know with them giving you a choice of getting ten soul card press, I think that is at the end of the day going to be a pretty valued banner over here. So you can do this up to three times right three yeah, three rounds over here so i'm gonna have some calculation over here with how many how much horse we're looking at i think oh, let's see so you have 45 already right 45 and then you have 12 12 plus 9 or 18 excuse me that is like how many is that so 18 plus 12 that's 3000 7500 there you go uh, 7,500 and then you can get yourself, you know, a 10 uh, at the end of the 7th. I mean, that's pretty good, you know. Uh, I gotta give it that, but you know, uh, by all means, you know, wait until Friday night or Friday morning or Thursday night before, you know, they drop some new banners, I guess. Uh, I, I would say they released this banner on a pretty premature timeline again, I, I, I would have to say. Uh, because typically these, I, was, I would say they would drop on that Thursday slot. I guess because they did drop the, um, the Super Soul Kai on an earlier schedule, that's why they, I guess, want to roll them out earlier again. Um, so that is that. So we have the uh, new AI pilot here as well. Come down here again, we got the login bonuses right there. You know, um, 7 million at the end of the week, so that's good. Uh, more parts for alterations, so not really that much this week. So um, most of them are just pretty much rerun at this time. 
and then they did add those two uh you know standard parts so i will re do alteration review for them late much, on a much later date yep uh, let's kind of scroll down a little bit over here so they have updated the battle circuit once again with some new multiplier uh, obviously over here so i think they did finally address the issue of after clearing all the battle circuit um they're finally addressing what is it, the capitals over here so hopefully they can just kind of award people with that pretty soon over here so all right so moving now just a little bit a little bit over here so we got the bingo set over here with the zaku f2000 so we're gonna actually take a look just to see how many parts that we need to upgrade into that level 90 so that is something i think a lot of people will be a little bit of a concern you know um because obviously resources is a pretty a big thing that is needed in order to upgrade those over there so i'll i'll take a look into it uh, we got one of our sub one of these uh, multi mission bosses over here. So I'm probably gonna be doing this what I did a month ago, uh, the primers uh, where I rate people's build in these uh, multi missions over here. So that is a uh, pretty good, uh, I guess, a series <laughs> I can be continue to do uh, for many many months to go. So that is that. All right. So that's pretty much it. Uh, Super Sokas has already been dropped. So I think months of those hype has already been alleviated with those Super Sokas already. Uh, what I want to check out immediately is are they gonna drop those um, Gumpla blue coins over here? So okay, let me see just down a little bit over here. Um, where's where is it at? Uh, where is the? Is there not gonna be any um, bonuses or achievement tied into those limited time multi missions? Uh, I'm looking at it very hard already. Like I don't think okay, this one over here. Yeah, like I don't think they're dropping them at all. That's a little bit strange. Again, like I don't know what's up with them not dropping dropping them anymore. Is it because like I guess the builder trainings we have enough of those? Like, do they think we have enough tickets to go around to upgrade these parts over here? I I think that's not even right. Like, there's there should be no reason for them to even drop giving uh stop giving us those gunpla build coins like. If they are gonna completely stop giving us those, you know, gunpla build coins once a month, like they, they need to find different ways for us to really level these, you know, um, you know, um, Sokas and Gunner Battle Festival parts in terms of the trade levels and EXQ because this is completely unacceptable. Uh, there's no, I don't even think there's any prior announcement of saying, oh, we're gonna completely stop giving you guys these, you know, uh, gunpla build uh, coins over here, which I say it's just completely ridiculous. I don't know. Because this right here, these two right here, or uh, I would say the free to play option, or, or you know, once a month free to play option to get either one of your trade up upgrade pincer or even um, you know skill upgrade nippers, and for them just completely outright remove it is just unacceptable. Uh, even if they do give you know, when was the last time they mass release you know in, in terms of lock-in bonuses um, for those what is it the growth hanger tickets? I don't even know if they would they would amount to 1,000. If if those locking bonuses, those uh, was it um, grow hanger tickets, they amount to 1,000, then that's I guess it's fine. But if they don't, I I would say this is gonna be a completely rip off. So that is that. So if in order for them to give us equivalent to 1,000, um, you know, experience point, let me let me see how much they would need. Actually, that's that's the thing, right? They would, uh, because the white version or the level one, they give, you know, 50. So what is 1,000? They would need to give us, I think, around 200, right? Yeah. They would they would need to give us at least 2,000 or, you know, 2,000 of the, you know, maybe uh, of the level one. Maybe if they were to give up, like, the greens, they would need to give us, like, 100. And if you're looking at the, you know, the, the blue version of it, I think you're looking at around 50. 50. So I think that's the map right there. So if they were to stay equivalent to those corner right there, I think that's what they need to do. But I don't even think if within that week they're definitely not giving out that much. So I would say it's gonna be a completely ripped off. Um, I don't know. Like if anyone is from the Bandai team is like or development team is watching this right here, please bring back those over there because this is completely not acceptable. Even as me who spent um, who spent money into the game, being able to get those uh, relatively easy. I will say it's just not right to the rest of the player base. So that is something that definitely need to change. So, all right, enough of renting over here. So let me get back to our per usual, you know, just look at some banners over here and see what we have. 
Um, yeah, there's quite a ton of banner over here. So you have to do your step up. So let's see what they drop in this step up, right? Um, let me see. <clears throat> so there's no freebie on step one. I think that's something to just kind of keep in mind right there. So step two, you do have some freebie and then SP tickets. I wonder what that do. So let me check that out uh, in a bit as well. So I just want to take a look at the rates right for right now, right? Uh, I'm going to look at it directly as a prime pool because I'm pretty sure that's probably the slot you might either get your soul cash or not. So, wow, okay. Step three, you still get 71%. And then freebie wise, you're looking at the same again. And then step four, you are going to be looking at a 16. So that's going to be on a, I guess that's on a discounted. Uh, that's why it's going to be a little bit lower, you know? I mean, that's acceptable, I guess, right? Uh, step 4, you're back to 71, and then step 6 is going to be 100%. So step 6, is you're not going to get any uh, freebie, and then step 7, you're going to get freebie and going to be 100%. So that's good. Um, this one is not. So step 7 is going to be a completely free, um, you know, 100%, 10 parts out of 10 parts is going to be Sokai. So this one is pretty good like but uh for usual you don't wait until thursday night or friday morning depending on your time zone just to see if they are going to release anything new then at that point you know i'll you know when they when they drop stuff on that thursday night slide i'll obviously do another coverage of like all right what's going to be the best banner to summon on that week uh obviously these two are definitely not going to be the best you know banner to be summoning on um this step i would say is like it's good <laughs> right uh, because this one is primarily primarily the one I summon on. I have pre-recorded the summon, summoning video for this week already. So it should be dropping in approximately 3 hours and 30 minutes at this point. So it's going to be your uh, Thursday morning, you know, a PST. So uh, looking for that. Uh, it's a pretty uh, good summoning session, I guess. But, you know, you guys can check that out. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much about that. Um, so that's pretty much it, right? Uh, they do have, they still do have these banner labs right now. Uh, definitely not going to be something to be summoning on, right? I, I will have to assume. Uh, these two are still going to be available. And then what about, what about this one? Life last. Um, they're both going to be, or everything's going to be ending in terms of the first wave, you can say. Of the, uh, the Gundam battle, uh, the Gundam breaker battle, uh, battle of suit. They're going to be leaving on the 31st. So next Next we said they'll be all gone, so presumably they're gonna start dropping the other set. So that is that. Alright. So I think there's nothing, nothing more to talk about here. So let's go to the shop over here and just see if they have dropped anything else over here. I don't think they have mentioned anything over here, so we can just kinda quickly glance through it and that should be pretty much it. What about these over here? Uh they dropped it this week. What did they drop? They dropped this guy over here, this one over here, and then this one. All right. Uh, okay. Gosh, which one to really get? That's a pretty good good question. So this one obviously does have an alteration, and I think a lot of those parts are pretty acceptable. Um, these EX skill base over here definitely gonna be pretty good with alteration. I don't I don't we re actually remember how they are like this unit uh exclusively how it, it how it is after alteration so oh man what about this one over here this one i would say is gonna be good uh just any i guess any of these buffers definitely gonna be good i think at some point soon this one will have its alteration and this year will be a gonna be a pretty phenomenal support to your overall squad so that's i guess something to just kind of keep in mind in right there as well this one's going to be good right there for sure. Uh, other than that, I don't know if there's going to be anything too particularly good, I would say. I think Battle Cry is something I think a lot of people do take into consideration as well. I never really use it myself, but I think people do use it. So that's that, right? Uh, what about this over here? Debuffing over here or Combat Hand over here? All right. I don't know. I don't really use that. Um, any of those debuffing EX skill, uh, my personal appearance. So uh let's see i don't all right this one does not have an alteration so i'm not gonna give it too much of a benefit of a doubt i would say if this one was um it was the one to one just go definitely use that one but this one doesn't have its alteration and it's not particularly good so i'm not gonna recommend this right here so that is that right all right so let's go over to the exchange over here so yeah pretty sure they did drop it as a separable over here so you're gonna be able to get your um, the Saku, uh, the Super Custom Saku uh, F2000 in this, the A material. 
so you can get these over here and then you can get your plugins you know so that is something right there to get um you know these are always going to be good to get you know this one especially and then other than that you know marks if you need some over here and then on the heavy device b that is going to be able where well, you're going to be getting your all your resources over here some uh, you know a waking circuits that is going to be for all this one is going to be for you know the pilot here specifically now this one is definitely going to be good to get i'm liking that uh, per usual uh this week around we have high fire power gym type high mobility support type and then for base um high fire power and high mobility is definitely something and a big demand so that's something definitely to get um other than that you know if you guys do have extra of these uh material b for example uh we can definitely get those per, uh, of course so right here I, I would definitely get these over here uh, all these are definitely pretty good to get uh i guess we can just hop over to the you know events just to see what else they have and then you know let's see all right all right so uh in terms of this over here uh i'm pretty sure there's gonna be another one of those storylines uh within the uh what is it the welfare event so i guess that's something good to get as well because uh when they do normally when they do these kind of uh welfare a step up uh, in terms of doing this type of uh, event over here uh they generally do drop a little bit more you know chrono uh you know i was about to say chrono crystal not dragon ball legend man <laughs> okay uh they usually drop a little bit more of power chips so that is always uh, that's uh, obviously welcomed it so that's good uh i don't usually tend to read the storyline i guess that is something i need to start doing uh that is something i'm definitely missing out so that is that over here and then you have your regular you know um limited time multi-mission right here of course so i think that is pretty much it i think i have covered everything for this week um all trading review for the new uh, super sokai is already uh in my channel already so you guys do need to check them out um you know what parts you really get what is something to really focus on um those are i have the recommendation over there as well so that being said you know that would be, be pretty much it uh, for this video and then i will catch you guys all on the next one